betting uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. The third to last race on the card is race six. Now here's a race where the average mirrored rating is 62. It is a 67 handicap and they're going to race over 2,000 meters. 13 runners carded and 13 runners will race at the time of recording. Check scratchings and jockey changes and betting moves before you take your final bets. Let's start off with a horse that I think is going to run a good race and, and I give quite a bright place chance to Rahil. That's number 12, Living Waters, Tinny Prince to Ron Harris, Rachel Venneke. Yes, they are drawn out deep, but Living Waters is a horse that goes through the gears and kicks on and ends up running fair races. He's never too far off the action. Would you be surprised if he popped up and won or, or, or is he more of a place chance like, like I give him? I wouldn't be surprised if he won at all, Warren. I've made him a horse to watch out for on the short list. And I think that Living Waters, if he doesn't have too much to do in the closing stages, he will be running on powerfully. He's a horse that's always running on the best or second best. And last time out, he just had a bit, of, a bit too much ground to make up from the wide draw. He's, he's never had luck with draws in his last couple of starts. So with the two and a half off his back, it's going to help him. And I think there's going to be a nice pace on in the race. The likes of Galabia, Final Occasion, Lord Minver, even the likes of Karari's Cowboy. They're all horses that love to go up handy and they could be setting the pace up. And it could suit the likes of Living Waters. So Living Waters is going to be the value horse in the race. I think Karari's Cowboy, given that he's taken on a lot stronger in his last two starts, I think that will help him. He does, however, have to carry 62 cages and he's drawn a bit wider. So hopefully they just give him a chance. He does run well on the poly track, as he does over the course and distance with two of his five wins over the course and distance. And so he will be right there at the finish. The eight horse, which is Teichman. Now he's come down in the ratings nicely. It's been a long time between drinks, 382 days. Samango Kumalo gets back in the irons. And I'm hoping that over the 2,000 meter trip, they just drop him out like they did last time out. I think that the 2-4 was just a touch too far for him. He's on the poly track where he has run well. So hopefully they drop him out. And as I mentioned, the pace could be on and it could suit Teichman and he could get that third career victory. Then the 5 was final occasion. He's a horse that has come down in the ratings quite a bit. He ran a nice race last time out when beaten by Kane Lyman Soda. We saw Kane Lyman and Soda just win yesterday in Fairview. So the form line is working out nicely. And with Garrett Wright in the saddle, neatly drawn in gate 5, he could stay on at the business end to earn a check. So a horse to include into trifectas and quartets. But Warren, this is a race for me that I think you've got to go really wide in the exotics and include quite a few. If not, maybe include the whole field and expect a nice result here. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes, as Murphy's Law would have it, you put the whole field in wanting the result, and sometimes you get the result, but nine times out of ten, punters Murphy's Law, you put the field in the favourite wins, but at least you survive. That's the most important thing. Two other horses we must mention in this very tough and complicated 67 handicap is number eight, sorry, at least number three, Galabia uh, for Gareth Van Zayl, Mario Ferreira and Atendiba Magudwa, their stables in good form. Shows plenty of pace, this horse, or, or, or shows that he likes to go out to the front and, and, and try and make each and every post a winning one. His overall form's good. He's neatly drawn. Fists of Fire nearly won last time and, and did overcome the draw, was drawn completely the widest of all. It's a much kinder draw. That could, and that's what narrowly sways me in the camp of Fists of Fire as my first choice but not a confident one. It's a very, very difficult race. I think in closing the sixth race, the advice that you've already given is to try and include as many as the budget will allow is the right way to go, I think. Yes, absolutely. And uh, as I mentioned, you could expect a nice result in this lineup. So probably include the field and hope for the best in this, in this race. I don't, don't think that you should get a uh, three to one favorite here. should be better than around five, six to one. So it is a competitive race, but include quite a few, as you've heard from Warren and myself. Good fun days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, 
and to have you know companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible is uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone.